10 quick PowerPoint tricks. Uh, starting by the first one, we're doing on stock images. So if I go to insert and pictures, stock images, there's all sorts of free images you can use. Let's say I'm looking for a cat, for example. Exciting stuff. So I'm putting a cat in, I insert. Here he is, a wonderful cat. Nice and simple. Number two, remove background on images we've just been using. So if I use that cat I had before, click on the image, I go onto a, I click twice on the image there, remove background, and there we go, it's taken everything out. What I need to do now is just happy with it, look at my beautiful cat, so if I want to uh, combine that with another image, let's say I want to have a living room, and I'm going to put this, I insert it, I'm going to put it in the background, so send backwards, and I've got a very big cat back and make it obviously smaller. There we go, I've got a lovely little cat next to my tree. Deal done. The three edit shapes. So I just need to go to my next slide and I'm going to insert some shapes. Let's say I want to have a, a, a rectangle. And let's say I want to have another one. If he wants to insert another shape, uh, let's do a circle. So let's make a circle now. Okay, if I click on it, I've got on oh, no, this one here, I can modify, I can edit points. So if I want to make something a bit more exciting than a circle, I want to make my own shape. That's nice and easy thing to do. Just edit shape and look at that. Okay, and I'm going to do exactly the same thing on this one too. Just edit the points and make something a bit more if you need to get something specific shapes that you want to use, you can personalize your shapes this way. Oh. Shape intersect. So let's say that I want to uh, insert a picture. I put a tiger here. So let's say I want to have this tiger here coming in and I want to just get the head of the tiger. So what I want to do, I just need to get a nice shape. So insert and get a something like a star here. Yeah and make a big star here and put it on top of the tiger's head and I'm just going to be working out really now I need to click on this in the background first then again, again a hit control and do that what I need to do I need to go on this little and intersect that and there we go look at that beautiful little star with a tiger in the middle number five drag uh, to copy, so we have the uh, tiger's head there. One inch is pushed control down and drag to the right and look at that and to the left or anywhere else. Just do that, and I've got some uh, just copying the shape a few times, nice and easy. Design ideas so I'm just going to be taking the picture that I have before and I'm going to be going into uh, uh, not insert, but I'm going to be going into design, it makes more sense. Then design ideas, look at that, uh, the AI is just giving me several options which uh, to create a, a lovely, lovely page so I can want to have it balanced if I wanted to or if I wanted to do something a bit more fancy like this one and uh, or maybe that one. Plenty of possibilities there, all fun. Uh, seven, uh, QR for this. So nice and easy if you go onto uh, you add in and technically uh, if you don't have it you just can get it nice and easy it's nice and free just go into this uh, what you need to do then you need to add a an address for example or it could be an email address it could be a telephone number an SMS or something custom potentially uh, let's say I want to uh, people to click on the link and get uh, to this uh, obviously the new section of uh, the post primary language Ireland I just stick it there. I get rid of the HTTPS because it's already there. My QR code is created. Let's say I want to change the color into blue. Why not make it a bit more exciting? I insert it. I'm going to make it bigger. So this way, if people scan it, I can move it, can copy and paste it, put it somewhere else, and people uh, can scan it and then go directly onto our web page. Nice and easy. Forms. It's uh, one of my favorites actually, uh, and I think it's uh, quite new stuff. So, forms again, same thing in, in add ins. If you go into add ins, uh, you should be able to have access to forms and you can add it. 
and what you can do is uh, you can make sure that you have access to some form into a PowerPoint. So um, you could be doing that as an exercise or you could be asking people to answer questions on a survey or something like that. So let's say I want uh, the children to have a look or we do a lesson on PowerPoint or something like that. And after that, I want to make sure that they have this uh, into uh, the uh, PowerPoint so they can answer all the questions by themselves. Uh, so um, there we go, done. I'll put it here, uh, copy, you can close it and I put it here. Insert. And there you go. Look at that amazing. I've got my PowerPoint directly. Um, I've got my form directly into my PowerPoint. All amazing stuff. Nine morph transition. So what I want to do is I would like my uh, kitten and my tiger to swap place from one to the other. So what I need to do, I'm here. I'm in a transition area. I'm going to be clicking on morph. Then if I go into the slideshow area, play from the current slide, I'm going to play from that slide, uh, play from the current slide, and I hit my button, and there you go, a nice smooth morph transition. And last one for today, so uh, an enhanced morph. So let's say I want my kitten to become a tiger, but I really want to make a, uh, an exciting type of uh, morph. So therefore what I need to do is and click on image here I'm into the home tab I'm going to be going into arrange there I've got selection pane and I want to show show all so I've got a picture here what I need to do is I need to change the name I put two exclamation mark and I'm going to call it uh, let's say test okay I'm going to be doing the same and that one there and I'm going to call it exactly the same. I'm going to copy and paste to undo that and call it test also. Okay. So, and I'm going to be going to transition again. I'm going to call it move. And we are going to have a go and see how it works. Let's do a slideshow starting from that kitten and start from the current slide. And click on the button. Look how exciting that is. Forwards and backwards. And my kitten becomes a tiger. Cool.